Hi everybody. We are now ready to transfer our picture onto our watercolor paper. We've taken our watercolor paper and we've taped it down with some beige masking tape and we're ready to trace our pattern. Now I'm doing a vertical because the picture is vertical and it's going to be easier to do that. I'm going to figure out how much sky I want and where on the paper this is going to sit. Pretty much the same size of the paper, so I'm going to go with that. Lay your pattern down, tape it with just a little bit of tape, and then slip your graphite tracing paper underneath it. This, you can see, has been used a few times. The more you use it, the better it gets, because it isn't so dark as it would be when you first use it. It has a little wax in it, so that it doesn't smudge when you go to paint on it. So slip that underneath, dark side down, and put a couple lines in that I'm starting with the horizon line. There's the horizon line there, and I can see that it's good and dark. And it's transferring onto the paper. The next thing I need is to put my trees in and I'm only just simply going to indicate where the tops are. The bottoms I don't need to draw all the branches because I can put those in randomly at the end but I do need to know how tall these trees are going to be. My horizon line goes straight through my shoreline and on the shoreline are some rocks. You probably don't see that on your camera, but I do see it looking at the image. You can kind of see, like, see a little bit of lights in here. Those indicate that there's rocks there. I'm not going to trace the sun or the clouds because I don't want the heavy dark line on there. But what I'm going to do is make myself some notes on my tape where the clouds are, where the sun is, approximately, and there's a few clouds lying in between there. If I mark my indications on the tape here, it'll be easier for me to remember, and I don't have dark lines on there. Once you've got your pattern traced, put your graphite paper away, and then grab yourself a simple white eraser. This wax will resist the watercolor, so you need to erase some of the graphite off and some of the wax, so that when you put water on there, the image doesn't disappear, but also doesn't resist the water. So I'm really scrubbing really quite hard. It's a very user-friendly paper. I'm just getting as back to a light gray as I possibly can. So then I'm ready to paint. I have my image traced. I have a little bit of information. Not a lot because I don't want to get rid of a lot of dark lines. I have my sunshine here that I know that's going to sit. I have some clouds here and more clouds here. And at the top, I would write blue down to this line so that I have an indication of what my layout on the watercolor paper is going to be. So that's basically it. The next step is going to be figuring out what colors you need. So we're going to set up a sheet like this that indicates what colors we need to paint this painting. So see you on the next video. Bye for now.